What up? Tyler here. Okay, so I got some more back to school advice for you. Um, this one is your interactions with your teacher, okay? What you want to do is you want to be a good student, but you don't want to be an annoying student. There is a level. Up here is like the teacher's pet, brown nosing, like always trying to get in their business. Like, why didn't we do this assignment? Or we skipped this one? Or how do you explain this? You don't want to get on teacher's nerves, but you don't want to be like lazy where you don't care, okay? So you got to fall into that percentage right there. That's where you want to be. You want to be one that's helpful and inquisitive and attentive, but you don't want to be one that's overly annoying and in their face and trying to be like, well, you know, you're not their principal. You're not trying to make sure they're doing their job. You're trying to make sure that you understand what they're presenting and that they know you're engaged, okay? So when you come in, you want to be a little bit early. You don't want to roll in late. That's a bad impression, okay? Um, I've said in my other back to school videos on what time you need to get there, okay? The main thing you want to do here and the focus of this back to school video is when you sit down a little bit early, you sit down, you're sitting there and you're listening to the teacher. Most likely on their first day, they're going to be a little bit, if it's their first year teaching, they'll be a little bit nervous. They're going to be nervous, okay? Their first half of their day is just like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't screw up or say something terrible and get fired on my first day, okay? If they've been teaching for a while, they're probably not as nervous, but they're still a little apprehensive because they're trying to figure out their new class, their new students, the new vibe of their class, okay? And a lot of times, if you're at a smaller high school, you'll take the same teachers over and over, so they're going to talk to you when you come in anyways because they're going to want to get to know you. And plus, it's one of the things they're supposed to work on as a teacher is rapport with the students, okay? So they're going to focus on, if they're a decent teacher at all, they're going to focus on getting to know their students, okay? And they're going to converse with you when you come in. That's the best time to talk to the students and kind of get to know them a little bit. You know, oh, how did you, you know, did well at the band concert or heard you did well at that game. They're going to want to connect with you, okay? So the best thing you can do is talk to them. You know, maybe joke around a little bit if that teacher has that vibe. But for the most part, you just want to interact with them, okay? So if a teacher calls on you or if they ask a question, you don't want to shoot up in the first, like, second, like, oh, you don't know the answer, you okay? Hermione Granger's hot um, as an adult but she's not somebody you want to be in the classroom too much, okay? You don't want to be the know-it-all, you just want to be there in case no one else answers. So what you want to do is if the teacher asks a question like, you know, oh, does anyone know the Pythagorean theorem? Does anyone remember that from last year? You want to pause. Maybe, so a lot of times, if it lasts more than like two or three seconds, the teacher will like prompt like, does anyone remember? Uh, maybe they give a hint. What you want to do is you want to pause at least one, two, three, and then answer, you know, oh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Great job, okay? You weren't overly eager, but you were there, and they had somebody to carry the lesson forward, okay? They don't want to sit there and have to beg for an answer they know most of you guys know, okay? But you don't want to be too early, so at least give it a three-second pause, wait for anyone else, and then you go. You're like their backup answer, okay? They'll know they can go to you, but you're not going to be overly trying to answer every single question they have, okay? So that's my advice on how to interact with the teacher. Care in a conversation, be polite, cordial don't just be like uh-huh or yeah mm, okay okay don't answer a teacher when they ask you questions like yes no don't do one word answers talk to them they're a human being also and you could be similar to them in like 10 years might as well get to know them kind of figure out hey this is the kind of person i'm going to be like this is how i'm going to interact with people just they're humans okay don't be intimidated just talk to them okay and if you are intimidated that means they're doing something wrong so should feel comfortable speaking with them on a on a polite level okay they're not your best friend so don't be like hey dude hey bro what's up teacher no you want to talk to them like yes ma'am yes sir miss mister whatever that's how you talk to them okay so carry on conversations get there a little bit early and uh and answer questions okay but not too fast okay that's my best advice on interactive teachers back to school boom don't forget to subscribe and uh i'd like to say today's um video is brought to you by where arkansas Check them out. Even if you don't live in Arkansas, you should check them out. So, boom. Boom, boy. Boom, boy, boy. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please, subscribe. Maybe.